I am uh, Dipoman Ganguly. I'm an immunologist uh, based in Kolkata. I am working as a scientist in the uh, Indian Institute of Chemical Biology. Uh, I was trained as a doctor long back, but I then decided to take up a career in basic immunology. The interest of our lab is in the role of a specific innate immune cell called dendritic cells in auto-reactive inflammation. That is to say, disease contexts where uh, our immune system works against our uh, self-body parts. And uh, I've been running this lab for almost 10 years now. Uh, I did my PhD in MD Anderson Cancer Center. And then after a postdoctoral research in Columbia University, I uh, started this lab in IICB Kolkata. Regarding this uh, Indo-French project, so uh, in 2016, uh, our lab was the first to show that a specific subset of dendritic cell called plasma cytoid dendritic cells, or in short PDCs, uh, play a very interesting uh, and crucial role in adipose tissue inflammation, that is fat inflammation which is encountered in obese individuals, which leads to development of type 2 diabetes in them. And uh, we found that self-nucleic acids, nucleic acids of our uh, self cells, uh, are released in uh, obese adipose tissue, and that can actually activate uh, PDCs inside the adipose tissue, leading to in release of type 1 interferons. Now, because we were uh, hypothesizing about nucleic acids activating PDCs, uh, naturally, uh, a question was, what are the natural nucleases doing? Because nucleic acids outside the cell will be destroyed by nucleases in our body. And for this, we uh, teamed up with a French group in uh, Bordeaux, University of Bordeaux and CNRS lab immunoconcept, uh, where Professor Patrick Blanco and Dr. Vania Sisirak worked with a specific nucleus which has been shown before by them. Uh, that they can degrade self-nucleic acids. So naturally the question was whether this nuclease is deficient in the obese individuals. And we did the human part of the study, so we recruited patients, Indian patients, obese individuals who were undergoing bariatric surgery, looked into their fats, uh, looked into the nucleus expression in them. On the other hand, Dr. Sisirak in his lab was working with mice which are deficient in this nucleus and trying to find out whether they are like more prone to uh, obesity induced type 2 diabetes. And uh, so recently we have uh, gathered some data and we are uh, on, on the verge of publishing it and we think yes, this nucleus which is called dns one l 3 plays a crucial role uh, in degrading the self-nucleic acids which are outside outside the cell in our body and thereby uh, can prevent uh, obesity induced type 2 diabetes. Uh, and as I said, I did my postdoctoral uh, work in, in Columbia University. Dr. Sisirak was my uh, co-postdoctoral fellow and we have been friends for a long time and the CEFIPRA grant uh, enabled us to come back together and work on a, a shared interest, shared research interest. Uh, with a complementary team given by two labs. So uh, we are uh, planning to end this uh, project and then, um, so once we confirm from diff for by doing different experiments, validation of this uh, pathway, which is responsible in obesity, uh, these enzyme or this nucleus um, can be a very nice uh, therapeutic agent also perhaps in obesity induced type 2 diabetes although a lot of preclinical studies have to be done so that's uh, that's our those are all in the plate and for us and we we have decided to continue work together in this field and i would say uh, cefipra uh, by providing such opportunities uh, by funding these uh, groups collaborating groups who share their research interest and bring complementary expertise actually um, enables uh, indian scientists to uh, kind of break the boundaries that we are often um, kind of are left with and so that can so our research can be validated by another group we can do few things that we are not 
able to do uh, in our labs. Those uh, laboratories in France, they are also able to uh, rope on, uh, like rope in our expertise, which we bring from India. And also Indian patients, French patients, uh, you can actually look at different ethnic cohorts and that helps the research in the long term. Hello, uh, so I am Vanya Sisirak. I am a research scientist at the CNRS uh, and I work at the University of Bordeaux in the research department called Immunoconcept. So together with Dr. Dipyaman Ganguly uh, from the Indian Institute of Chemical Biology in Kolkata, we were awarded a grant from the CEFIPRA program. The CEFIPRA program allowed us to develop a collaborative project between uh, Dr. Ganguly's lab in India and our laboratory in France. So our project aims at, uh, at studying the role of extracellular DNAs in the regulation of the inflammation that is induced by obesity. So during obesity, uh, there, we, there is a, 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 you, an inflammation that is caused mostly in the metabolic tissue, such as the liver and the adipose tissue. And this inflammation was shown uh, to participate in the development of metabolic syndrome, and particularly the development of insulin resistance and the evolution of obesity towards the type 2 diabetes. And so this inflammation was also recently reported to be uh, induced by extracellular DNA that is released by an abundant cell death uh, that occurs in the adipose tissue or in the liver. So with Dr. Dipyaman Ganguly, we postulated that extracellular DNAs, which are controlling the amount of DNA that is released by dying cells, may regulate uh, the inflammation that is induced by obesity. So. Uh, our preliminary results actually show that the deficiency of DNAs 1L3, which is an extracellular DNA, is exacerbating uh, the inflammation and the metabolic syndrome that is induced by obesity. In addition, obese individuals show a reduction of DNAs activity in their circulation. So our results are uh, actually uh, showing that DNAs may play an important role in the regulation of, of inflammation induced by obesity and thus can pave the way for novel therapeutic ther uh, therapies or avenues uh, which may harness the activity of these DNAs uh, to reduce the amount of extracellular level of uh, DNA and thus its ability to activate aberrant inflammatory responses. Our lab is basically a dendritic cell biology lab and we work with a specific kind of dendritic cell known as the plasma cytide dendritic cells. So uh, when I entered this lab, uh, within a few years we were interested in the role of uh, a particular kind of gene known as DNAs 1 and 3 and uh, we, uh, since this gene is very highly expressed in uh, plasma cytide dendritic cells, so uh, we wanted to see whether this gene has any role in obesity and its associated information uh, and the associated symptoms associated with obesity. So, uh, for that purpose, we started with some preliminary studies to see how the expression of this gene uh, changes in PDCs and we saw that uh, uh, its kind of expression goes down in case of uh, activation with interferons. So that gave us an idea that this gene might be playing a role in obesity and inflammation. So in that way, we, I think, uh, along with Dr. Dipamon Ganguly, we proposed this project to Cefipra, where uh, we wanted to see the role of dns one l 3 in uh, obesity and associated metaflammation. And we got the approval after that. And uh, even before that, I had applied for the Raman Sharpa Fellowship which is a fellowship that allows for the exchange of students uh, from India to France and vice versa. And uh, with that fellowship, I could go to France. Uh, so I was supposed to go uh, in 2019, but because of the COVID-19 situation, uh, this had to be postponed a little. So I went this year in 2022 in March, and we were working in collaboration with a French institute over there. So uh, over there, we worked on uh, the mice model for this uh, project and I went in March for around uh, two months uh, with the help of this fellowship and so that I could also work on 
the murine model over there. Uh, so after that, right now we are, I've come back and now we are working towards the end of this project. I think they are in the process of writing a paper also. So this. India and France friendship.